Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Thick Chick Thrifts, where you come for the fashion, but I hope you stay. Because you know I love you. Hey, girl. Listen, today is Sunday. It's, it's, it's the Lord's day. It, 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 it. Yes, we're going to have a good day today, y'all. Hey. All right, listen. I just wanted to come to you guys. We're going to start off with us just saying hello to all of the new people watching. Hello, darling. How are you? I love you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, I am your host, Mitra. AKA Sugar Mama. Hey, hey girl. How you doing? Make sure you have you something nice to drink, warm preferably, because it's kind of cold out there, y'all. I don't know where you at, but it's a little chilly here and we got a little rain going on. So pull up a seat, girl. Have you a good time, girl. Sip and enjoy. I love you and I thank you so much for stopping by and to my wonderful uh, 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 family that's already here. I love y'all. Y'all know I do. Listen, God knows I do. I thank y'all so much for stopping by. I love y'all and it means the world to me. And I thank you so much, y'all. Listen, before we go any further, you guys, let me just say, if you can, if you are a pray, a praying warrior, pray for this world, y'all. We had a really rough week here. We had a mass shooting here and we had a couple of threats around the area. So I specifically wanted to stop and take the time out to say to the families uh, who lost loved ones this last week, right before Thanksgiving. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. We love you here. It's it's really sad that um, things like this keep happening. But I just wanted to put out there. We need pray for this world. Tell somebody you love them because you never know what good that might do to get them through some point of their day or some decision that they may be hastily making. Show some love and kindness this week. Um, you never know what somebody needs to get through their week. So if there's anything I can say, if there's anything you don't know how to say, send them this video, honey. And I love all up on them. If you have not told somebody, today that you love them. Call somebody and tell them and know that you are loved. If nobody told you today, I love you. I love you so much and I, everything's going to be all right. I tell y'all that every week. Let's just, we're going to start off with that, but we're going to have a little fun because we want to bring smiles and joy because I think that's what we're missing in this world. So if there's anything you can do to make somebody smile this week, do it. Just go ahead, especially if it's just a smile, a simple I love you and a hello. It's free. Why not? So I love you and I thank you. And we'll jump into the vlog of it all. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you're on this weight loss journey with me, no, we ain't saying weight loss. No, come on, rebuke it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're saying a health journey. So if you are on this health journey with me, honey, I try to post once a week to encourage somebody. I don't care if it's walking. If you're sitting down, sit down and do some slight exercises, get you some canned goods. Use some canned goods if you have to, a jug, a gallon of juice, a gallon of milk. One thing, try to give up one thing for 30 days and see what happens. Journal it. See how you feel as those days go by. It seems to help me a little bit. So if anything I say encourages you, just go ahead and use it, honey. I love you, and I just want the best for you. So let's go ahead and get into the vlog of it all. And as soon as we wrap that up and a little bit of the week, I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. Every day for me is Thanksgiving because I am so grateful and thankful every day, and I hope that you are too. So 
Enjoy, you guys, and I'll see you in a minute for the fashion of it all. I love you. Good morning, y'all. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm going to get my workout on so I can eat all the turkey and stuffing and yams I want. I love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Say happy Thanksgiving, babe. And happy Turkey Day. Yay! Hi, you guys. Listen, I finally woke up. I am ready to go. We are at the gym, getting it in before the workout, before we go home and eat as much as I want to. I love y'all, and I just wanted you to know how grateful I am for you. I hope you guys have an amazing, outstanding Thanksgiving. Be blessed, be thankful, and I thank God for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. I love y'all. Bye. You got a good one? I, I might have a lousy one if you give me a minute. <laughs> All right, well, come back and let me know when you got it. All right, I'll see you in a minute. You know what? I want to know how much spousal abuse is enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know, Dennis. <laughs> y'all, that's Dennis, y'all. He's the kind of guy that'll say, hey baby, let's get away, let's go somewhere far. You leave your honey all alone with me, just because you blessed with you. You guys, we got a lot of stuff from this one, but it's Black Friday. So we about to go across the street to the other one. We're going right across here. What in the world, y'all? A thrift store across the street from another thrift store, girl. I love it, y'all. Let's go ahead and walk across the street to this one. Let's go, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. This one is massive. You guys, listen, before we go any further, can I just Vanna White you for a minute? I'm going to zoom into this. I'm going to get a little bit of this. Y'all enjoy the cafe. Cafe Sugar. Come on, honey. I think this is absolutely fitting and wonderful for the season. It is just a fall skate. It says the cozy coffee shop, honey. This is Sugar's cozy coffee shop. And I hope you guys are enjoying all of my back scenery, honey. I try to make sure I get something befitting for you because I think it's all about the ambiance of it all. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy, honey. I'm going to put some of this on the screen so y'all can see this on close. So I'm going to probably put this in the corner. This one's a good one. So I love you. I'm thankful that you are here. And today I wanted to show you guys that even on Black Friday, the thrift store be thrifting, honey. I went thrifting this week and I specifically waited till Friday to go because if you didn't know, if you're not an avid thrifter, they do Black Friday deals. Yes, that's what I said. Yes. So every store I went to had some form of a Black Friday deal and I got so much stuff that I'm probably gonna have to break this up into two separate videos, one this week, and I'll probably finish it off next week. I don't wanna bombard you and have two hours worth of stuff, even though I would, cause it was, it's so good. So I'm gonna show you the basics that I found from one store, 
And I also am going to put the clips of, I went to, of course, y'all know there's a Salvation Army and there's a DAV, which is a military thrift directly across the street from each other, honey. Why they do that for me? So I was there and I just went from, from one store to the other and it was just a good time. Honey, I be by myself, but I has me a good time. So I'm going to show you first my Salvation Army finds because I went there first and then I'll show you the DAV next week. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll jump right in. Let's go for the commercial. Ah! All right, you guys. So we'll start with the accessories. So as you know, when I'm in the Salvation Army, honey, they always come through with the accessories. I did not overdo it this week. Um, I tried to keep it simple because I knew I was going to be going across the street to the DAV to see what they had, but I did find a couple of accessories. So with that, I'm going to show you exactly what I found. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you um, some footage of the television because yes, I do thrift home goods um, in the thrift store. I don't... Um, thrift a lot now because over the years I have collected what I need. But every time I redo a room, that is when I thrift home goods. I try not to buy things like that because over the years I have collected so much um, and I have things where I, I, I like them pretty much right now. But when I redo a room or when I feel like I want to change things around, that is when I thrift a lot of home things. That's why you don't see me buying a lot of home goods. But this uh, Black Friday is always uh, known for their deals and specials, even at the thrift store. So there was a 55 inch television, HD, uh, 4K TV, and it was 150. Now it, the original price was 200, um, but with the 25% off, it ended up being like 156 or something would change. And I got that for my son because he, of course, blew the speakers playing video games and music on his old TV. And it was time to get him a new one. And I just didn't feel like doing the whole Black Friday rush or online shenanigans with Walmart. And uh, I just didn't feel it. And the, for the prices that they were selling the same TVs. I, I feel like I got a deal and it's a beautiful television and I'll make sure I showed it here. So I, that was like the big home accessory that I found, but I did find a couple of small accessories. Now the first one is this, um, I'm trying to see girl cause I ain't got my glasses on y'all, but it is a beautiful watch and I'm not sure the, the name of it cause it's so small. And it's just these crystals that they have all around the bezel. You see that? And I just thought this was really cute and dainty for like when I'm trying to show, um, or you're trying to go somewhere, but you don't want to look too bedazzled. And, and sometimes you got to bring it down a notch with depending on what you're wearing. And this would definitely be something I would wear with the pieces that I'm going to show you today. But I just thought that this was so different. Look at that. And it's just right up my alley. And it was only $2, of course, with 25% off. Because all of the watches, all of the bracelets, um, I think are $2. So these are, for, you figure less than $2, honey. This was worth it. And I'm just going to throw uh, Figaro. I think that's the name of it on the back, Figaro Couture. So if you've ever heard of that. Let me know, you guys. So here is the back of it. It is genuine leather. It is kind of worn. There is a serial number on it. So I may have to look this up and see what I found. But this is just gorgeous. It has a black leather strap. But I just thought that that was so cute. And my next piece is just really simple. It's just a... I always look for bracelets that I can just leave on my arm when I'm at the gym. Because I still like to look like fashionable when I'm at the gym just a piece of dangly something so I saw this gorgeous little silver uh sterling silver it's a bracelet it looks like a watch but it's really a bracelet and it just says I'm lucky with a cross in it and I wish it would have said I'm blessed honey but I this will do and I just thought this was really cute um there's a little star as you can see 
a star charm at the bottom and I just want something I can leave on. I try to leave a silver or a gold piece on every day. I just like to have something dangly and sparkly. It just makes me smile. So I thought that was really cute. And of course it was $2 with 25% off, but this is my favorite. And I think this is the one I'm definitely going to start wearing every day. And it just says peace, hope, faith, love all around the bangle. Love, peace, hope, and faith. And it just goes all the way around. And that's pretty much who I am and what I'm about. And it's one of those bangles you just throw it on and you close the class as you see fit. But I think that this is, uh, it feels like it's stainless steel, I would say. It doesn't say on the inside what it is, but you can open it and close it as you see fit. And it's really, really sturdy. So I don't feel like it's going to be like, be careful with something like this. And for $2, you can't beat it. And um, what I'll probably do is, of course, I pray over everything that I get. Um, but I love stuff like this. So I'm probably going to leave that on and just call it a day, honey. Because every morning, I'll just plop it on and keep it moving. But I love that. I'll probably will take this off daily because I don't want this. I, I'm a face sleeper. I'm a pillow sleeper. I sleep on my tummy. So having this in my face, I probably would have this printed all over me, girl. So because sometimes when I, <laughs> I leave this on and I wake up and this whole print of these hearts will be all all on the side of my face, y'all. So <laughs> I'm probably going to take it off daily. My last piece, like I said, I didn't overdo it this week, was this rose gold. It's just a really simple little rose gold watch and it has these diamond stimulants or, or diamond simulants and it just says Studio 8. I've never heard of Studio 8, but I, I don't have anything rose gold in my collection <clears throat> collection of watches, excuse me. But I thought this was so cute and it has that band where you can slide the watch up and down wherever you see fit and I probably could change that band with different bands and it's just that skinny band because I do have a band that says blessed so um I may switch the bands and it just says blessed all the way on so I may swap those out but this is really really cute and I thought this would be a nice little collection to my accessories when I wear rose gold so that is the end of the accessories we'll go ahead and get into the fashion of it all, you guys. Let me know what your favorite is out of the accessories so far. I love you. Let's get to the fashion. No, all right, y'all. So listen, we'll go ahead and get into the fashion. Um, my first piece, like I said, all of these pieces today came from the Salvation Army. Now, the Salvation Army, like I said, had a 25% off. So I didn't go crazy. I just kind of got staple pieces. I'm trying to only buy pieces that I know I would wear. Or in the event that I start selling that I know other people would like to purchase. So I found this gorgeous pencil skirt and it is just it the snatch of it all. I cannot <laughs> wait to try this on to see how this will snatch you up. It is a faux. It's that faux um, wrap. So this wrap is actually just something for the look. But it has the tie, and this is brand new. Now, this skirt was $3, uh, $2.99. So, with 25% off of that, I figured I would go ahead and get this because I saw this cute little top. Now, this was not as set together. I actually put this together while I was digging, girl. Yes, because I'm always digging. So, I found this gorgeous little top, and it's a... Um, it's just that, that gray, that hunter gray, look at the details on the bottom of that. And it's that halter style jacket. And it's, a, it's pretty much a shirt. It's not actually a jacket, but it's thick enough to wear as a jacket on a nice day like this. Cause it's not quite cold outside, but there is just a little breeze cause it is a little rainy, but this, it has the hoodie and both sides have these details hanging and I thought this would be really cute and it's kind of odd to see as I'm hanging this up or showing it to you that without having it on there is a detail where it's more like a um 
like a corset. It's more like a corset when you zip it up. So I'm going to put it on with that and hopefully it all comes together because I always tell you guys when I try things on, I'm seeing it with y'all first too, uh, most of the time, 90% of the time. So I hope this comes together. Like I think the colors are pretty much exact how we did that girl. Nothing but the fashion guys, nothing but God. Yes, it was. So I love stuff like this and I'll probably wear this and it was. $6.99 with 25% off, but I'll probably wear that um, with a pair of sneakers because with stuff like that, I try to keep it casual. So I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the way I'm styling this thing up. I'm just going to keep it simple, you guys, because I think that's just one of those throw on and go type of things where you just want to get out the door, but you still want to look put together. So I hope you guys enjoy that one and we'll get to our next piece. All right, y'all. So for my next piece, it's just, I tried to keep it simple. Like I said, my next couple of pieces are kind of like the same style, but I wanted to show you different um, colors that you can try for. But these baby doll dresses in the winter are your best friend, girl, because all you have to do is throw on something like this with some tights and some knee high or thigh high boots. And you are ready to go, honey, with the with a nice coat or but I'm gonna show you what I would wear with. But these A-line or skater or baby doll type dresses, very, very feminine, very simple. There is no ironing. I don't have to iron this. I can fold this up, put it in a drawer, and when I'm ready to go, pull it out, throw some tights on with some boots and be out the door. Now, if you are in a warmer climate, you don't even need the tights, but this I thought was so, so pretty with those ruffles. It's just so feminine, but I loved it because look at the detail on those buttons. It almost has that vintage vibe going for it, but I just thought this was so, so pretty. Um, And like I said, for $3.99, with 25% off, you can't do it no better than that, honey. This is so pretty. It's long sleeve and it has those ruffles on the sleeve. I just think it's so pretty and so simple. It's just something you need. Uh, if, if a girlfriend call, honey, let's go to lunch. You don't have to think about it. Grab you one of these, throw you some tights on, boots and out the door and you still look put together. So this is one of the, one of my favorite types of pieces that I, I show on this channel quite a bit because it really is, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, tights, no tights. It just depends on where you live and where you're going. But this is awesome. So I hope you guys like the way I styled it up. And I'm probably going to end this video, throw things together to show you how I'm styling these things up because, yeah, wait till I get to them, girl. So I hope you like this one. I tried to keep it simple and we'll go ahead and get into the next one. Here we go. All right, we're going to keep it moving with the very next uh, piece. And like I said, it's almost the same style of dress, still that same baby doll A line, but this one is a little different because it has those pockets in the front, which I love, honey, because y'all know the snack of it all is always having access to something that you need to get to really quick. So I think this color is gorgeous. It is a Shein curve. It was um, at my local thrift store. It is a 2X, but this one was $4.99 with 25% off. So, but I love this copper color. Can you see that copper color? It's not quite orange. There's more like a brown tint to it. So it has that copper. And of course, at this time of the year, honey, look at it with that backdrop right there. You better work, girl. I love it. So always look for tops like this, even though it does not have the sleeves. What I'm going to show you later will fit it just fine. You wait till you see it, girl. But when you throw something simple on like this, you can let your outerwear be your pop or your don't play with me. That can be your uh, outfit or your item that you just s sit down. Yes, I'm coming through. So I love this. These are very inexpensive, um, especially if you get them when you thrift it. And this 
for the most part, it looks like somebody just tried it on and it it just didn't fit in the way they uh, anticipated or maybe they just didn't know how to style it, but it looks brand new. It is absolutely gorgeous. The buttons are all the way down and it's more of that, can you see that cat eye type of pearl? I just thought it was so pretty and I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna wear it with. So with that being said, We'll get to our last couple of pieces. We keeping it short and sweet, honey, because I know y'all are full of the yams and the sweet potatoes, honey. <laughs> and y'all just want to see a quick little haul and go on about your day. So let's get to our next piece, girl. So, like I said, here we go. We're going to get to our last couple of pieces. And these have to be my favorite and I kind of have them in order of favorite. I hate when I do that, but I am a person who loves a good out of piece. I love a good sweater in the winter time or the fall because I'm always cold. I'm fine now with no sleeves because I'm of course in the house and I can regulate how I'm feeling in my area. So I'm good to go. But when I'm outside, I love a good sweater moment. I love a good coat. Y'all already seen some of the coats that I found and I cannot wait to wear them. But this is, these are good. Now this one is very simple. It's very chic, but very, very simple. Now, if you're ever in the thrift store and you need a, or if you're ever in the need of a cardigan, go to the thrift store, honey. These are some of the best cardigans you will ever find. When I say quality, I don't know who Ava and Viv are, but this is a high quality cardigan. It is good. It is a 3X. So it is very roomy and long on me. I hope it doesn't wash out, but I'm going to step back in a minute. But I want to give you a close up look. Look at how good that material is. That is, look at how, that is beautiful. It's really soft. So it's not that itchy stuff that you're used to wearing, but. I just thought this was so special. It's long on me, of course, and I'm pretty sure it's longer because it is a 3X, which is perfect because you don't want to have a tight cardigan. And when you wear sweaters or you wear um, clothing underneath this, you don't want to feel like the Hulk. You need your room, girl. You don't be busting out like some boudin. Let's just say that. <laughs> you don't need to be, or for those who don't know, you don't want to be busting like a case of sausage, you know, when you cook them and they start busting. You don't want to be busting out your cardigan. So it's good to get it oversized. So whatever you wear underneath it, you're still comfortable. But I thought this was very, very special. Look at that. Look how long that is. Now I'm 5'3 for reference, so it don't take much to be long on me. But I just think this is so good. And I'm going to throw this on, of course, with this particular dress because it will bring out the colors in that. You see that? And then wherever you are, you're going to be warm. You're going to be put together. And honey, nobody going to know that this uh, sweater was only, look at that, $3.99. With 25% off, girl, you better bring, give me my 25% off. Yes, you better bring it. Who, where you going to go and pay $3.99 and get 25% off of a brand new looking cardigan? Nowhere. But the thrift store, girl, y'all better. Black Friday in the thrift stores next year. If you get a chance to go do your Black Friday in the thrift store first and then whatever you don't find, of course, I always tell you outsource, but start in the thrift store. This is beautiful, y'all. And I cannot wait to try it on with that. I could just try it on with this, but I don't want to mess up the uh, speaker on here. So I'll just show you with this dress on when I try do my try on. So I hope you guys like the way I'm styling it with that particular dress. And of course, my favorite way to wear those cardigans are with just a simple pair of distressed jeans, some boots or some heels, and a nice little t-shirt. So if you ever need something really quick, that's a good idea. So let's get to our last piece, you guys. Thank you for sticking with me, y'all, and I hope y'all are enjoying. All right, y'all, so, okay. I trying to contain myself because I done found the cardigans of all cardigans and, and I'm not going to put it in the atmosphere that I won't find nothing better because I might. It just might. But for, for today, for the weekend, 
this was my score for the weekend. Now, y'all may not get ex as excited as I did when I saw it, but honey, when I saw this, I'm going to let you get into the goodness before I get up close, girl. Look how long this thing is. It almost looks like a dress. I probably could wear this as a sweater dress, but it is actually another cardigan that I want to show you the detailing on this dress, y'all. I mean, on this cardigan. So good. You know this is vintage. Um, Let me see the tags. So, yeah, this is vintage, baby. Because the tags are all ate up and you can tell you got to dry clean it. I, I'm going to take it to the cleaners, actually, so I can get it clean. But look at the detailing on this cardigan, y'all. It this this view camera is giving it no justice. There is a leopard print or an animal print here with all of the bedazzledation that you <laughs> need, girl. It is beautifully made. And look at how the shoulders sit out. Look at that. See how those shoulders sit out? This you know this came from like the 80s or the 70s. It looks more 80s vintage, but this is the score of the century. Get into it, y'all. This is not itchy. It has some weight to it. It is just good. Oh, I wish the tag was not so old because I'd be able to tell you exactly who made it or where it came from, but this is good. Now this, the pockets even have this detailing here and it's that same leopard print with the same variation of stones on the pockets. Look at that. And it's on both pockets, both sides. And I just think this, these pockets are deep and good. Honey, look at, look at that. Look at that. Give all the snacks. Let me, want me to hold that for you? Okay, I got you. So this is ready. Now I am going to have to ask them to stitch up the that's probably why they got rid of it. It's just a little stitching here where you can tell somebody poked their finger through. I could do that myself. Um, but I am gonna get it dry clean. But look at this, y'all. Look at this, look at the sleeve on this. It feels like a robe, kind of it has that weight of a robe, so you could get away with this like a coat. It just depends on where you're going and where you live. This it's Look at that stitching in there. That is, this is some craftsmanship here. There is not a stone missing. Every stone is present and accounted for. This is good. And it was only $6.99 with 25% off, y'all. This, I think, was my score for the weekend. This was why I went thrifting this weekend. I cannot wait to wear this. Now, I'm just going to throw this on with this. See this color here? I'm going to try to bring out that color and just keep it simple. And I'm probably just going to throw on some thigh-high or knee-high boots. But I definitely will wear this with a simple pair of jeans and a t-shirt. And I probably, if I did it that way, I'll show you in a second. If I did it that way... I would wear some boots like this. And just to keep it simple, um, I just think stuff like this for for six dollars literally, I mean you cannot you can't beat that. If I went to a consignment shop, they would want at least a, a hundred dollars for this. Because it's so long and so weighty. And if you see on the back, it's not just collared, it has this a school teacher type. I mean, remember back in the days when the, they would have that cloak style here? Look at that. That is some good stuff right there, y'all. I hope you guys like this. And like I said, I'm just going to throw it on for today or with this, uh, either probably leave these jeans on with this tank top or I may throw it on with the dress. But this, oh, my favorite. I just think this is, I, th I think this is so good, y'all. Please let me know what your favorite is out of all of them. I just think this is just spectacular. You cannot beat that. Look at, look at that. All of, 
with all of the stones still there, sis, I appreciate you, whoever you are who donated this. I love you. And let's get to the end of the video, y'all. You made it, girl. Let's get to your favorite part of the video. All right, y'all. So we have made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the haul that we had. And tune in next week and you'll see my across the street haul from the DAV, which is a local uh, disabled veterans thrift store. And I'm going to show you all of the goodies, honey, because I found when I tell you I had a time in there, I found a whole lot of other stuff. So I hope you guys will tune in next week. I try to upload every Sunday. If you are new here, I try to upload every Sunday evening. So I hope I see you guys next Sunday. So this is the end of the video, which is my favorite part because I get to love on y'all and I get to thank you so much for stopping by. You guys, I hope you had a marvelous Thanksgiving weekend. And if you didn't, I apologize for the world sending them vibes your way, honey. So we're going to change it. We're going to think positive and everything is going to look up and ahead. Everything is going to be all right and it's going to get better. Listen, one thing I can tell you is that somebody loves you, honey. And if you need to come and hit every week, come on, I tell you, I love you, girl. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And if there's anything that I always try to tell you guys every Sunday is that if there's nobody you can look to, look to God. He is always there. And he always on time, honey. So enjoy your week. I thank you guys so much. If you need anything, you know I'm here. And don't forget, if you have a small business or you know somebody with one, honey, or if you just want to send your girl something, look at my P.O. box down at the bottom. Just shoot me an email and let me know, girl. Just say, girl, go check your P.O. Your box. And I will. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing, fantastic week. I speak a life over you this week. I speak abundance of joy, honey. I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye! Thick chicks, we just be thrifting. Thick chicks, we just be thrifting. Thick chicks, we just be thrifting. Don't you want to thrift with me? Thick chicks, we just be thrifting. Thick chicks, we just be thrifting.